What could be more iconic than the Kalashnikov? Rough hewn from wood and iron, its simple construction belies an enduring example of industrial design. It's the weapon of choice for a revolution and the backbone of any insurgency. So, what makes the AK so special? Why is a near 70-year-old rifle still so popular? And is there really no substitute? The legendary rifle's story starts in Soviet Russia, in the embers of World War II. This was an era of rapid technological progress amidst valiant acts, and the Soviet Union loved the hero. Mikhail Kalashnikov was a tanker in the Red Army, wounded in action in 1941. During his recuperation, he learned of his comrades' woes with their issued rifles, and resolved to tackle them with a soldier-focused approach to small arms design, with innate usability born from simplicity and reliable function. His early designs caught the eye of officials, and Kalashnikov found himself part of a small arms development group for the Red Army. The Soviets were not shy to take influence from what other forces were fielding, and between captured Nazi weapons, Allied supplies, and a long line of Russian prototypes, the AK-47 began to take shape. The German Sturmgewehr 44 was a major influence. With similar form factor, it proved the viability of a mid-power cartridge, and provided the gas system for Kalashnikov's design. The earlier RPD would also lend its intermediate cartridge to the AK-47, the 7.62 by 39mm round, also known as the M43. Its slightly tapered casing is responsible for giving the AK-47 its distinctive curved magazine. In demonstrations, the 1947 prototype outperformed any rival and was readily adopted by the Russians, although initial manufacturing issues did slow down deployment. These issues were remedied by 1959, when a modernised version was introduced, known as the AKM. It replaced the milled receiver with a stamped metal one, both lighter and easier to produce, and was also equipped with a muzzle brake to improve the accuracy of automatic fire. There were a large number of variants of this basic design, from the AKS with a folding stock, to a large number of foreign-produced AK pattern rifles, such as the Chinese Type 56, Hungarian AMD 65, or the Finnish RK62. The smaller calibre AK74 emerged in 1974, firing the lighter but higher velocity 5.45 by 39mm round. With greater wounding potential versus the older round, the AK74 would supplement and eventually replace the AKM in service. Pair these variants with such a broad service history, and you have a recipe for a very popular weapon indeed. There have been more Kalashnikov pattern rifles made than all other assault rifles combined. In fact, of all the small arms that exist, one in five is an AK. It's utterly ubiquitous, found in every corner of the globe, and such is its influence, it even adorns the flag of Mozambique. The AK-47.